Greetings, everyone. I'm back as promised, and I'm going to start with a quote. It says, turn thy thoughts inwards, not outwards. Find thou the light soul within. Know that thou art the master. All else is brought from within. Grow thou to realms of brightness. Hold thou thy thought of the light. Know thou art one with the cosmos, a flame and a child of light. These are some very powerful words. And if you are able to see yourself as a child of light, if you as a human being now connects with this light, you will not enter into any kind of darkness. What I'm talking about right now is the woman in Jamaica who uh, has this viral video going around of her beating her child with a cutlass. Brutally beating this child. Now, in the physical, I will see that and I will say to myself, what a wicked, evil woman. Because it's what you're seeing, you're thinking, thank goodness for modern technology. Thank goodness for social media because now this woman is exposed. That behavior that you see is certainly not a first time experience. That experience that that child endured in that rage from that mother is something that have been perfected until now. While that child lived in private agony and suffering, the whole world now knows. But what is more than that, when I move from the physical and, and get into the spiritual, what I see is far deeper and uh, I think reflects the condition Jamaican people on a whole, not just Jamaican people, but you no, know, people, melanated people around the world. What I saw was depressing, it was frightening, it was embarrassing because she's woman and so am I. Her rage and anger I have held inside me as well not towards that child but towards others who might have offended me i might not have taken a cutlass and hit to somebody but my rage my hurt my my frustration have taken that to, could have taken that to levels where i fall apart the the black woman is a strip naked in her underwear which is very symbolic of our women today Though some of us are dressed in regal clothing, her behavior, her attitudes reflect that of a naked woman, shameless. Our rage and our anger uh, that we experience or we feel within us because of what we experience in the world, the, 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 the uh, abuse we receive in society, the kind of disrespect that we get we internalize that and what we do is graze the next generation of children with venom, with wrath that we are uh, misplaced. So the woman goes into a tyrant and her rage is mind blowing. It's absolutely frightening. That rage is not just because of a child doing something wrong. That rage comes from her feeling so inferior, feeling so helpless, feeling like she got no power because she doesn't even know the power she carries as a woman. She doesn't know her place to know that I am raising a next generation. I am giving birth life to this child, not just from producing her in my womb and giving birth to her, but the way I respond to my daughter now is going to cause her to go down in this world and stand up like a king and queen. How is it possible for that girl to stand up like a queen when her clothes is held up and her body is exposed, even as the woman who gave birth to her lashes her and speaks to her like a dog? And in this video, you're seeing this mother uh, in her rage, righteously or unrighteously, it doesn't matter. This mom 
as she hits this child with her power and her might and her rage applies the same attitude, the same response to a dog. Therefore, in the mind of the mother, her daughter is no different from that dog. That dog has the same value as her child. And then you say to yourself, why is she hitting this dog? Because she's out of control. Because if she beats her child to discipline her child, then why do you beat the dog? The black woman finds herself living in a world of extremes. One that is so tight-lipped and so controlled and tries to give the world or people around her that she's in control, but she's not. She's not in control because she lives in a patriarchal society that still tells her that she's less than, that she's beneath. She lives this woman in Jamaica as a woman who understands that in Jamaica, women have no value. Her mother taught her that lesson and now she's imparting that to her own child. There's so much more going on. And so you see the average, I think the majority of the women come out and says, yes, 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 I agree. Men come out and say, yes, I agree. Because the black man and the black woman understand the whipping as love. Where did that come from? That came from bondage. That come from the enslavement of the mind and the enslavement of the physical body. Do you understand that? So when you look at the, the material, when you look at the physical, all you can see is the wickedness of this mother. But you're not seeing the spiritual. You're not seeing that the other women support that these are the same women that will come out and tell you men are abusing women and killing women these horrible men they're gay this is why they don't like women but yet you find women most disgraceful towards each other these are the women who treat the girls this way these are the women who disgrace the girl she makes a mistake it doesn't it's not considered a mistake even some of the same women who have gone down that same road they have been teenage mothers and when their child become a teenage mom oh the venom is outrageous the black mind and body is in bondage and cannot be removed from bondage until we understand who we are and why we do the things we're doing we justify beating our kids and saying that it's okay because that was what was introduced to us we see that as love so the question then comes for nations that don't believe in corporal punishment, nations that don't beat their children, whose kids can be as terrible as the ones that we have in our Jamaica country. You know, yeah, let's face it. Some of our kids, because of things that they're exposed to now, can be very brutal. They can be very difficult to raise. I've raised two daughters on my own before I remarried. And I had a difficult time with my older daughter. But I can't remember a time when I would have thought that taking a cutlass and beating my child to subjection would have been the answer. And what kept me from doing that, perhaps is grace. What kept me from doing that also is environment because how I grew up, even though I didn't grow up with parents, I grew up with a guardian. She did not do that to me. Therefore, I did not have that in my spirit. And so for the moms and dads in Jamaica that are saying, beat the kid, because they're bad. I'm ashamed to see other women who claim to be intelligent women who are saying that they would do the thing and that they agreed with it. And I find us black women, we're selfish. A lot of us are very wicked because we have no ability to love anybody else's child but our own. And so even as you would not do that, when you see the woman doing that to her child in Jamaica, you justify it. Should this woman go to prison? In my opinion, she is quite a victim of her own life circumstances and counseling is definitely beneficial to her, but she surely needs psychological assessment. And those children, even if she loved them, cannot be around someone who is mentally disturbed. That lady needs to go somewhere and whatever hurt she's had in her life, whatever pain she's going through, whatever frustration she carries, is something she has to work on before she can become something for those kids. The damage that she did is irreversible. The child can forgive her 
eventually. But at the moment, there must be a divide, a separation between those two for the child to heal and for the mother to learn how to be more than just a physical person giving in to, 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 to rage because it's not good what happened. That was not a good thing. It was not a positive experience for her or her child. But this continues to be the argument for me. The black man and the black woman do not know themselves. The hatred that they turn in onto themselves based on how they have been treated in society, be treated in the world, the message that were given to us about who we are, not as spirit beings, but as physical beings, cause us to live wretched lives surrounded by strife and chaos and not knowing how to deal with these natural things that occur around us, not knowing that the strife and the chaos and the imbalances in our life can be sorted out, but not in the physical. Women, Jamaican women, you're the worst. Most of you are the worst and you're hypocrites because on one hand you say, that you don't want to see other women abused. How can you not see the next generation of women abused in such a way and not stand up? This is why the men in Jamaica have been rapists for years. It has been off by our permission, by our turning our eyes away and ignoring what was happening to our kids. And if that girl was being beaten that way because of some sexual activity, then I'm thinking to myself, as a mom, you did not teach or impart any great lessons to your child. Your nakedness represented the fact that you're a broken woman. And I'm not going to condemn you for being broken. Maybe you've gone through one pain or one suffering too much. But sex is not something to disgrace your child for. It's your opportunity to teach your child. And if your child is having sex, and especially if it's with an older man, a pedophile in the society, rather than confront that man and bring him to punishment, you would have done that to your child and all these other women who justify bad behavior, justify men abusing each, you know, other women, beginning with her child. Many of us put our children out there to be subjected to sexual abuse. This is what I've been talking about for years are girls not getting the protection from women, not getting women to surround them. What we do when we have our girls and they do wrong, we shamefully, we disgrace them publicly thinking that that's discipline. It's not discipline. It is a part of your brokenness. I hear so many people talk about it and it's a disgrace. That child was a victim and in my opinion, doubly victimized, whether sexually or physically. And it's time for our Jamaican people to start adopting qualities that make them great, teach our kids to be greater. The self-esteem problems in our communities are shot with our girls. And the violence and the rage that we see in our country, in our different communities, as a result of our bad parenting. If I could do some things different, I would do some things different. And my daughter uh, would not be any better or worse if I applied, you know, severe punishment, I just have to understand that your teacher lessons and when they get to a certain age and they're not listening, they will learn from their own mistakes. I pray that child will get the counseling that she needs and the mother will also get her own well needed help for her mental health. We continue to see how we're affected by our former experience as enslaved people and our continued struggle because we refuse to reconnect to our roots. We need to reconnect to our roots as black people and understand it takes a village to take, raise a child, but also that the children are our future. And that's not just a cliched expression. Their children are ex our future. And if this is how we treat them and justify uh, other persons abusing them, then we are 
in a very bad place. Be blessed, everyone.